Laura, you're leading a new specialization that that, uh, that looks at these issues. Uh, how is that working, and, and what are these students learning in there? Well, the specialization uh, is just getting off the ground. We're, uh, this fall will be our first semester beginning. The, the nuts and bolts of it that make it unique is that it's a competency-based program, which means it's not just a set of courses like most of our other specializations on campus. We have been planning um, and working with experts for the past three years to identify core skills or core competencies that students will show proficiency or mastery in. Um, then they're going to take those skills and they're going to put those evidence of those skills in an e-portfolio. So that portfolio will be able to go tra travel with students once they graduate to sh demonstrate to employers, here are things that I learned, not just a transcript with some grades and some courses on it. Um, and in that specialization, we've, we're covering eight core competencies that the students will learn while they're here. And they can learn them in a variety of ways. They don't have to just take a course to learn a competency. Uh, students learn, as you know, in many different ways while they're here on campus. They learn by working on undergraduate research projects. They learn in their student organizations. They learn in the outreach and engagement they do in our communities. And as they acquire those skills from those different extracurricular and co-curricular activities, they're going to provide evidence in that e-portfolio that says, yeah, I learned about civic engagement here, or I learned about ecological integrity in this way and in this manner. So. Um, we're pretty excited about the uniqueness of this specialization, that it's, as I said, not just a number of credits and a set of courses. It's really looking at student learning and authentic, what we call authentic assessment of that learning and providing evidence of that learning in this e-portfolio, which is pushing the paradigm on teaching and learning. We don't do a lot of that here on campus, and, and so we're going to be holding some faculty development and advisor development workshops to help people understand how to teach to this and how to integrate it into their the curriculum that exists already on campus. How much of this translates to students that are not in the specialization? I mean, I, I think we, we've talked about the notion that when you come to a place like Michigan State or any of the large universities, you become a citizen of that place. Mm -hmm. uh, is, is part of this teaching people to be better citizens of the world? Does that translate to staff and faculty? Absolutely. So one of the core competencies is, is civic engagement. And we because we say, you know, you could know all the technical conceptual pieces of sustainability but if you don't know how to engage in the world, you're not going to be able to, to move this outward and move sustainability forward. So yes, those students are going to have to demonstrate that they can work in small groups and they can solve problems from multiple perspectives and that they have an understanding of, of a, a number of different cultural nuances to sustainability. Um, and you asked about faculty. So we hope that students will also sort of nudge faculty and staff forward as well as they're acquiring these new skills and knowledge. And Lori, to add to that just a little bit, especially on the staff and faculty side, we do have programs at Michigan State, our environmental stewards program, that do engage faculty and staff in looking at ways within their community and their office with their colleagues about how to make uh, better decisions for purchasing, how to reduce waste, how to use energy more efficiently. So I think that um, at MSU, when you come to the university, whether it's a faculty member, a student, or a staff member, you're going to be exposed to this because we consider this one of our core values, sustainability. So you're going to feel it in multiple ways. Our environmental steward program has been highly successful. We have over 600 stewards on campus. Um, and there have been some real changes made as a result of just people being conscious of the fact that this is important to MSU. And we're providing in our office resources to them to figure out how to make those changes locally locally within their world. So that's really important, especially when you have such a large campus, to be able to localize those efforts. And so students are going to get exposure through the specialization or just by being among students who are involved in the specialization. Those values will translate. Staff are going to feel those types of um, civic and community responsibilities and faculty as well. So hopefully what we're doing is not only training students to go out into the world and make a difference, but that we're training our entire community to do that so they can take those behaviors home. They can express it at Michigan State. And if they ever move on to other places, they can do that and take it with them too. You, so, you make it sound like a lifestyle. I think it's a culture. It definitely is a culture. Um, not only to just think about, okay, I have a task and I'm going to do my one task, but to think about it in the context, uh, in a global context. And I think considering sustainability issues, especially these days, is critical to being able to think about your challenges, your tasks, your, you know, your work in a global context. I think it's just critical. 
We'll be right back.